Welcome to Yes Offense. Trigger warning, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, this podcast will feature graphic language about sex, race, violence, and anything else that might make people uncomfortable. However, this is a comedy podcast, and everything and anything talked about on it should be viewed as an attempt at humor. Like, if you hear anything on this podcast you don't agree with or like, please just turn it off. No one on here is a politician or actually affecting the way you live. So if you genuinely have a problem with anything said on here, redirect your energy at a real issue going on in the real world. Now let's get into the show. Now everything's off. God damn it. There we go. I can never get it to start. That's show business. Right? That's... Hold on. I gotta wait eight seconds too. I I will not go and get a new SD card when I've I've already paid $60. And I will not go get another one, no matter how much trouble this one gets gives me. Wait, you said SD card? SD? Like, as in, like, the storage space? Yeah. Oh, shit. What the <laughs> for a pod track thing, yes. As you can see, we know everything about podcasting. Yeah. yeah. SD is storage. It means storage device? I think it's storage disk. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> damn. It's just two fucking idiots right here <laughs> just being like, I think, dude, I know nothing about most things. Like, especially technology. I'm fucking retarded. Yeah, everybody assumes in my neighborhood that I know coding, and I'm just like, I fall asleep every time I'm near a computer. Coding. You, you do, do kind of look you, like the coder. Yeah, like a, you give it a, a Mr. Robot vibe. Yeah, yeah. watchdogs type shit. Yeah, you, yes, exa- a blend of yes, those it's two. just the hat, I think it the is. The hat, the hoodie, the, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, those cheekbones are like dystopian world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are, dude. I, I've, I can rock. I've look, ugh, I dress like Mr. Robot for most of my life, though. I'm not going to lie. When that show came out, I was like, this, is, this isn't a good look for me anymore. <laughs> just black hoodie. Black, what? Black, all black, all the time. I mean, uh, this is blue and gray. It's a, it's a little, it's a different shade of a bruise. You know what I mean? It's an interesting style and spo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what? This dude's got the right idea. I'm gonna start rocking the black hoodie. <laughs> yeah, this guy wants to bring down society, and he talks to himself, and he's schizophrenic, and he hates that, Dells. Dude, I, we, you know what? I now didn't realize how much I relate to Mr. Robot. But I've tried to watch it. I just I don't like the main guy or what's Rami Malek. He's weird looking. He looks like he looks like everything in his face is about to pop out. He looks like that doll yeah. that when you squeeze it, the eyes kind of go. But he's yeah. always in that state. He looks like Steve Buscemi's son. I just didn't like that show because I found like whenever they go to Coney Island, I just found inconsistencies. Oh, okay, yeah, right. they were just like they were like on a G train station. Like, Let's go to Coney Island. I'm like the F train doesn't run here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you think they would have done... They, they were pretty technical in that... God damn it. They were pretty technical in that show. You think they would have... Like, it was all in New York, the yeah. whole show. You think they would have taken the time to just know when to train... Whatever. Whatever, man. Guys, welcome to Yes Offense. My name is Alex Tomaselli. You know this. And I'm here today with David Clash and Ada Detsky. Both new to the pod. Hell yeah. Never been on before. Most likely will be on again. Oh, Fine. good. <laughs> we already got our invitations early. Let's do it. Yeah. Hey, guys. How you, how's, how's, how are you enjoying this cloudy, dystopia New York? Is it cloudy day because of just clouds or because of the smoke? Oh, it's going to rain later. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. I, I was sitting outside. Now I don't even know what to do anymore. Honestly, I'm, I look outside and I'm like, all right, it's cloudy. But then I'm like, is it because of a natural disaster? And then I just, I wonder. It's safer to smoke inside. Yeah. Just, just stay in. I, it, I, I, that day when the smoke c- descended on the city for real, I just played Gears of War 5 all day. Here's a th- I wasn't worried about That's it, solid. but I went to L.A. like the week before, and on the plane ride over, I watched Chernobyl. Yeah. And then I came back, and that shit happened, and I, w- I was a little bit like, you know, I would like check my window every once in a while. Yeah, it was creepy. I, I didn't, I couldn't get through Chernobyl because it was... I, I, too uh, intense. Too depressing, dude. I was like, this this is just fucking me up. I don't like that everyone is just... Me- you, anytime anyone did anything, you're like, up there dead. Like, yeah. anytime they did anything in that show, like, they breathed the air, they walked down the street, a piece of ash, like, got in their hair, you're like, 
That's cancer. Dead. Cancer. Yeah. They're going to die Bro, by the, the end of the show. Where, uh, I think in the first episode when the firefighter tries to pick up the rock. Oh, yeah. And then his hands burn. Yeah. I was like, oh, uh, no. Nah. That's instant nah. cancer. Like, just instant cancer. The other part that really fucked me up is when the guy, they're like, go look into the smokestack. And then his, his, he starts bleeding out of his shirt. Yeah, but Bro. he aged in like five seconds or whatever. Bro, I was like, this, I'm not. Done. And I'll tell you what. My brother was born a couple months later, like in that, right in that area. Region? Yeah, in that region. This it is, it happened like, on my mom's birthday. And uh, and they were like in Lvov, Ukraine, which is near there, like okay. around it. So the whole sky turned purple. And my mom, her cousin, kept walking outside and getting nosebleeds. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Jesus. And then my brother was born a couple months later, which probably explains why he's like 6'1". Oh, okay. I was about to say, is he ab- abnormal in any way? I mean, that's not too abnormal, but... That would make sense six, so yeah. low key because it's a like, six one Jew. Yeah, no, there you go. Like, I was about to say what is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. weird. No, but like <laughs> just in, just for the reason because every Russian I know is like underneath five ten, like the old school ones. You know what? The Israelis should take like the IDF soldiers to like uh, tr- like around Chernobyl. Maybe it's still a little fucked up, and just like watch them grow. A Make idea. a super army. It's like plants yeah. versus zombies. The wolves <laughs> get weird in Chernobyl or some shit. There's like atomic wolves in Chernobyl. That's fucking sick. I've heard, uh, by the way, this is me like going browsing Facebook and there's like <laughs> someone who's like, did you know? And I'm like, whoa, not even going to Google that and just <laughs> went about wolves. my day. <laughs> pedophile wolves. Yeah, pedi- <laughs> Actually, since they've left Epstein Island, there's been a pack of wolves and they're pedophile wolves. That would be wild. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere there's disaster, there's just a pack of wolves that <laughs> takes form of the former disaster. Yeah. Yeah. Like Rwandan genocide, there's just black wolves that yeah, yeah. hate the Rwandans. Bro, speaking <laughs> of okay. Rwanda. Oh, yeah. These blacks. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> You're the first one to go, hell yeah. Dude. <laughs> yes. One of my people. Yes. It's good. I Very remember um, I got like this message on Instagram just randomly from like, I couldn't tell if it was a spam account. It was a wolf trying to fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> it was like this Asian lady just hits me up randomly in my DMs. She's like, what's your favorite view of all time? Right? View? I, like just a view, like a skyline okay, kind okay, of view, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, the patio at Hotel Rwanda. All right? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, why? And I'm like, just the rich history. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did she, she didn't pick up on she it? She was like, that's terrible. Oh, and I was like, is. I think this might not be a spam account after she wrote that. <laughs> like, why would you ask me why after that? Yeah, usually spam accounts are like, that's great. Anyway, could <laughs> I, I think you're really cute. And you're like, I just mentioned genocide. I, this AI is not picking up on what that's what they say ai will not replace us just because of that it won't pick up on nuance it will it's not maybe that one day maybe one day i think you could build a computer program to at least my level of intelligence i think that's pretty <laughs> simple i think that well no they we'll just cont- yeah they can <laughs> contain information and just repeat it better that's am i i don't even know if that's true but it sounds like it's true <laughs> i saw machines right right <laughs> they can't learn and then it can't be funny. That could never happen, right? Uh, I'm not even worried about that. I genuinely don't think AI is proving to be that crazy. It's just... I think it can make some, like, meme-level shit. Memes. Memes. Uh, yeah. But I don't it's, do memes. I don't yeah. You don't fuck with memes anymore? No, I just never... I I don't take the time to make them. Oh. That's what I'm oh, saying. I, to, I like a good meme. Don't you used to wrong. make them? No. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, But someone does, right? Yeah, they have, like, meme accounts and stuff. I I always, like, you ever been, like, uh, watching a show or anything, and then you hear someone tell a joke that's, like, very clearly from a meme, and you're like, hey. Yeah, I had someone, I know a kid, he says, um, he says my girlfriend and I broke up, and she started dating a black guy. Oh, no, she, she's black, so when we broke up, I took BLM out of my bio, Mm -hmm. and I'm like, I mean, that's a meme. Everywhere. Yeah. That was a meme from. Did you ever see Invincible, the show? I started it, but then I was just like, it looked so much like Young Justice. I was oh, like, it's, did you watch at least the first episode? I watched the first episode. Okay, I was about to say, it's not, at the end, it's definitely not no, like I Young know, Justice. I know, I know. Unless it's The Sopranos, anything you ask that I've watched, I'm going to say no. Right oh, now. that's. I Especially mean, that's, anything that's animated or superhero. This is, know again, you've, you, you're meant for this podcast. <laughs> Sopranos. Huge thing on this podcast. But well, yeah. what did I just bring up? Fuck. Invincible. 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 There's a scene in it when the main character, he's supposed to be dating this 
the white superhero chick. I'm only using this race because of this bit they did, but then he ends up dating a human girl who's black, and the scene in the show is when the, the superhero girl flies to his window and sees them making out and like starts crying and flies off. But there was a meme when she would fly to the window, see them, and before she left, she pulls <laughs> BLM out of her bio and then flies off, and you're like, <laughs> but yeah, see? It's Everybody, awesome. that's a joke. Yes. It is what it is. So, the worst is when you point that out to someone and they're like, oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. I, I'll keep that in mind. And then you see them do it down the road. You're like, I, I you know it. it's not yours. And you just keep doing it. I mean, I know it sucks when like maybe you did think of the joke and then you see a meme and you're like, no. Yeah. No. yeah. But Or like when you think of a premise and then you hear somebody trying to do that same premise and then you're just like, oh, man, he went in a really shitty direction with that yeah. premise. Or if it's a di- well, if it's a completely different direction, I have no problem with technically the premise. But the meme thing's difficult yeah. because sometimes I've been like, "No, I thought of that first, and then I'll check the date on it and be like, I might have subliminally seen this somewhere else, and right. then I just fucking what? Right. What can you do? You can't. Not everyone's perfect. Because I see like there are some stand-up comics who have. Uh, I know at least one who has like a meme page that like does like pretty topical jokes and I'm like, you must be churning these out. That's crazy. Probably, man. I don't know. I can't write like that. <laughs> just writing out. Cr- I mean, you're talking about the meme page, the comic who has a meme page, right? I, I mean, I'm not <sighs> mentioning any. S- oh, OK. One. I thought you were talking about like one like that. But Whoops. yeah. No, no memes for no memes for me. No. All my memes are dark. Like, they're not. There's one. I, <laughs> I, 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 well, t- I'm going to try to shift what to talk about after this, but I think it's it's funny if you can imagine it. But it's. Someone getting murdered in the background? Let's hope so. I thought, I thought that was a dog. Oh, it might be a dog. Anyway, there's a meme of the girls from Jimmy Neutron all looking at the cool kid Nick in the show. I don't know mm-hmm. if you remember. He I always so, licked yeah. a lollipop and he had, like, greaser hair. But it says, like,. It's just them looking at him, and it says, look at Nick. He's so cool. And then it's a picture of Nick and look at his lollipop, and it just says, Islam is right about women. (laughs) And that's all. (laughs) Anyway. Yeah. It is, though. Don't you agree, Ada? Don't you think so? What do you think? I think. Damn. Slut. That's what I think. (laughs) No. Praise Allah. Yeah. Praise Allah. Alhamdulillah, guys. Alhamdulillah. (laughs) They got it figured out for the, the chicks, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I like <laughs> driving. <laughs> I know. And I'm, you, I'm sure you don't want to wear a hood in front of us all the time. No. I mean, that way, I mean, don't you wear a hoodie whenever you go to the gym either way? So, not, I, yeah. <laughs> so it's still the same thing. Why do you wear a hood when you go to the gym? In the sad boys era. Oh, dudes. Uh, t- wait. Oh, you're yeah. just sad? You're no. a sad boy or it's sad I'm, boys I'm, that come I up to you? I would be the sad boy. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying... It's like a thing when you go to the gym that sad dudes come up to you and are like, hey, girl, I'm really got, sad. I got asked that once at the gym, and it was the strangest experience. It was just this dude came up to me out of nowhere. We were passing each other, and he's like, do you want to go on a date? That was it? That's it. And I've never seen him before, nothing, and I never saw him again. He didn't strike up any conversation pr- no. beforehand. He just paused and said, excuse me. He just said, do you want to go on a date and pass? Like, you were walking towards each other, and he just said, excuse me. He or, went right, like, we passed each other, no. and then he turned back, and he was like, excuse me, excuse me. And I go, yeah. And I was like, and I was like, what? He's a and he's gentleman. Like, he's a gentleman. Yeah. A surprising gentleman. Yeah. And then he do goes. Do you want to go on a date? Do you want to go on Not even, like, a, f- a, a look or anything exchanged? No, I didn't hear him the first time. I was like, what? And then he goes, do you want to go on a date? And then I thought I heard him wrong. So I had to make him repeat himself again. <laughs> oh, God, this is and brutal. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then he goes, do you want to go on a date? And I was like, I have a boyfriend. Uh, I didn't. And then, <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert, I did not. Got him. And then he's just like, oh, okay, no problem. And then, like, sometimes I think back and I'm like, that interaction was so crazy that I even questioned if he did ask me out on a date. <laughs> oh, like it man, could, it you're just an been asshole. Like, you're just one of the assholes. Do you know when the gym closes today? <laughs> I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Get out. You did make him repeat it, though. I made him repeat it three times, and I still yeah. can't believe that that was that. I'm well, flattered. <laughs> definitely. I've never been, I don't think I've, I've been dumb enough to not realize I was, um, like, 
in an interaction with a woman. That where, you were getting hit on? Yeah. I was talking to this girl once. I had a girlfriend at the time, so this was mainly why I didn't pick up because I was just like, oh, <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Don't I don't look at women. I tr- you know, I try to be a good guy. Yeah. So um, this girl was talking to me. We just met at this. I, I even forgot where, but we met and we were talking about uh, she was like, hi, nice to meet you. Our friend introduced us. We were at a bar. That's right. We were at this fucking bar. D- being terrible at explaining things today. I apologize. <laughs> Shouldn't have smoked before. We fucked up. D- fuck oh, I'm all right. David. We were at this place, and there were drinks, and it was like this long... <laughs> yeah, what, do you, right? what the fuck do you call it? <laughs> well, my friend introduced me to his friend, and it was a girl, and he nice. left, and we were just hanging out, ta- uh, and she goes, where are you from? Do you live out here? And I explained that I just moved here, yada, yada. And I said a few things about myself, and then I just looked off into the distance, and I didn't. I was just like, mm-hmm. And then she went, yeah, so I live out here, and I, my name is when I was like, oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't even. And then she kept engaging me, and I was like, oh, this girl is, try- is interested, but I'm a fucking idiot. And I'm also, I'm not, I'm not I'm, I'm faith- I was faithful to my last girlfriend, so we're no longer dating, but that was, you know. You not a bad person. I try not to be a bad person. Yeah, you got to slip in every once in a while. Just like my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Yeah. 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 You really, yeah. Why not, right? Why not let them know? Yeah. I felt like I did that too much last time, though, when I was in a relationship. I felt like I dropped it all the time because I just had nothing to talk about. Because I didn't want to talk about myself. Wait. I don't want people to get to know me. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> so true. So I would just talk about someone else. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, let them s- be like, well, this person can tolerate her. Then maybe I can as well. <laughs> yes. What about you, Dylan? <laughs> Dylan? <laughs> David? Jesus Christ. Goddamn weed. Oh, man. This is bullshit. That was bound to happen one yeah. day. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys do hang out a lot, you and the... Yeah, the, and I also... Add this Dylan girl Meg. does that during <laughs> Dylan sex, Meg. too, actually. Calls you Dylan? <laughs> Dylan's a bad name, by the way. I'm best <laughs> friends with another Dylan. He's all right. <laughs> like, <laughs> is that Dylan Mulvaney? <laughs> no, no. I, is, I'd be wrong to call her a him, wouldn't I? What is it? What's going on there? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, what's up with people named Dylan? What, dudes named Dylan, women named Kelsey, both. Yeah, Pieces I, of shit. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm kidding, sort of about the Dylans. But I've heard <laughs> <laughs> like, this business is booming. I need to make sure I'm friends with all the Dylans still. <laughs> no, I'm for real. Bet one of my boys named Dylan is one of my boys. And I do like Dylan Negri. We talk about DC animated shit every time I see him. I don't think he remembers when we talk about it. When we talk about it, but that uh, We've had yeah, deep conversations. But yeah. <laughs> most yeah, most Kelseys specifically, like women named Kelsey, they're they're harlots. What do you mean by harlots? <laughs> Harlot is like a fifties word for skank. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's okay. nicer. It also gives it more of a like I thought that meant like, hard hoe. Or yeah, they're like vagabond. They're they're it's almost not gangster is the wrong word. They're just more shysty than they're not like just a skank. They're like kind of dangerous. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, the, there are just certain names that evoke that. Yeah. And like Heather, mean bitch. I know a nice Heather, but yeah, there's a, outliers. You, I agree. I I but, don't like Heather's, and also Sarah's are typically toxic. I have a cousin named Sarah. She's all right. I cracked out a Sarah once, and she was a little, a little mean, wild. A we had sex. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's a, we're cool now, but she... Uh, is that, is yeah. That, is that, is that what they call the hobby, of beating it? up women? <laughs> <laughs> I cracked yeah. a Sarah. Yeah, <laughs> dude. And then I opened a Bud Light. <laughs> in my wife beater on the porch, yelling at the minorities in the street, Turn it down! You have one of these parades every week. Anyway, what was going on yesterday with that parade? Was it, what was yesterday for oh, Puerto, Puerto Ricans? Rican? It yeah. was just a Puerto Rican day. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to figure it out. I didn't want to ask. I was just like, is this just a, a festival I'm missing out on? Whatever. I, I like it. I was just, I, I don't know if it's like, um, what did the Muslims celebrate like two months ago? Ramadan? Yes, but then it ended and what are they? Eid. Eid? Yeah. They, everyone, I've never lived somewhere where that was more prominent. Like where I'm from, there's no Muslims at all. So when I was out here, everyone was like saying that to one another. And I was like, this is kind of cool. 
cool. Everyone's yeah. eating. Everyone's you hungry. You know, it's like when you, when you watch the Wu-Tang show, right? <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, peace, God. And I'm like, yeah, peace, peace, God. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, when you, like, when you meet a Jamaican person, a real one, and they say bye, and you're, they go one, and you're like, fuck yeah, that's, it's real. <laughs> they really do that. Yeah. It's not just the guy from Grand Theft Auto. I'm going to just call Jesus Job from now on. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> No, yeah. I love when you just see like a perfect stereotype. Yeah, oh, man, it's the best. I love a, a wigger. Like I love oh, when yeah. you see them in the w- still around in the wild. Be like, no, I'm saying, man, she was tripping, and you're like, yeah. I used to work in an area with a lot of wiggers. Philly? Where you lived in Philly? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Like I was in uh, the 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 Jets in Staten Island. Oh yeah, that'll that'll do it. Yeah, they the were jets. always around the Jets. <laughs> the the Jets. That's what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> the Jets. The projects of Staten Island. Yeah, that's just like white trash and, you know. Yeah. That and like Boston are where like prime wiggers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. House of Pain. Yeah. John Cena. Uh, Dropkick. Well, no, that's not. No, the Dropkick. No, Murphy's. they're not wiggers. No, they're sorry. Just, wrong uh, thing. Completely wrong. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. That's Wahlberg. what I'm uh, sorry. I, yeah. I was thinking all. I was just going through the departed in my head really quick. And I was. Ben like, Affleck. Which ben was. A- Old Ben, nineties to early two thousands. Ben J-Lo. Affleck. He did. He did. <laughs> Jiggly. J Lo. Yeah. Did you ever see when that the Jiggly scene when she's like, oh, she wants to eat her out, and she's like, it's turkey time, and he's like, what? And then she like hints to her box, and it's like <laughs> gobble yeah, gobble, yeah, gobble gobble. That's fucking gross. <laughs> Someone said gobble to me in that context once, and I was like, that's a fucking. Movie. Ew, I yeah. I've ever fucking heard in my life, bro. Like about you doing it or them doing it to you? No, they were like gobble the stick. I was like, ew, yeah. That is the grossest (laughs) shit. No, no. Yeah. (laughs) Bro, what ruined my whole night? (laughs) Yeah, it's hot. Honestly, well, that's just that. That was someone trying to be sexy in a silly way, but it went way silly. It's too silly. That's what happens to your brain when you watch too much porn. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to you have to be on the exact same page with someone when you're talking dirty talk because it can, shit can come out weird like all like if you don't like I've had girls call me daddy and I'm like I just I put a kibosh on that <laughs> real quick <laughs> I'm like I'm not Puerto Rican okay like just keep it well they do the poppy thing but still I don't like when poppy a girl feels more acceptable that's that's cultural because right. that's like their baby yes kinda, yeah. but when a girl like a white chick's like daddy you're like ugh you you have Go talk to that's, him. That's because they actually do have their dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or they, or they're, they're, or they don't, and they miss him, and it's like it's that's not my w- problem. Now, white girls say it weird. They say it in a needy way, but like I feel like the Latina community that like uses that, they say it in like, mm. oh, I'm glad that you are like more masculine. Like it makes you feel more masculine, whereas the daddy one makes you feel like, oh, I'm responsible for this person. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> that's a good point. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I, I feel enlightened. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, apparently she's been the relationship guru as well for her boss. So Yo, she's been chill. everybody's relationship guru. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Dude, you know, it's, uh, you just, everyone's on TikTok and now I'm on, you know, and I'm just like, uh, my friend was going through something. So we were just like, do like watching fucking horrible relationship TikToks, and that's oh, yeah. like how my brain works now. So I'm trying to get out of that because it's like you ever watch a reality TV show and they talk in this canned like weird psycho babble. Sort of. I I don't watch no, too I many. No, you did not just say that. Yeah, you have to right? give me a, a, a better in, example. Like those post interviews and in, like yeah. reality shows. Yeah, but they're now so like Netflix tries to make reality shows where people like talk about their feelings and it's just constantly people sitting down and talking about their feelings and like talking about opening up and being like communicative and stuff like that. And I don't think I've ever had those conversations in my life of just like you need to communicate better. You need to be open more. Yeah, it's never a phrase like that, at least. It's usually she sits you down and goes, listen, you played Spider-Man for five hours last night. And it needs to stop. But like people, <laughs> people just need to start yelling at each other again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get. Yeah, keep it, your feelings well, in a can. Because ang- well, the thing too, anger. I'm not saying it isn't bad, but anger all of a sudden is the only thing you can't pr- actually project as yeah. a human. You can be anxious. You can be sad. You can be depressed. You can go fuck other people. I, there's some we. I don't know. Some people are cool with that too. But if you raise your voice to someone, if they did something wrong, they're like, 
Well, I won this argument because you raised your voice. And it's like, no, you yeah. you did something wrong. I reacted. You should at least try to, not try to calm me down, but at least be sympathetic to my reaction. And then if it accelerates, then yeah, maybe there's a problem. But I think in a moment of someone fucking you over or you're being revealed that someone did something wrong to you, you should be allowed to react in a, you know, angry way. Well, that's what it's they did. They took anger from the boys. They, yeah, they you know, you're coming back on a pod without without David, dude. <laughs> David's just sitting there. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, she's. Re- you're right, though. They took anger from from you guys because it's like uh, you can't just because I am an angry person. I have my dad's Eastern European temper, so I like that though because you just yell and it's over. Yeah. You know, but here it's like oh, or we could talk for four hours, and it's like I feel my testosterone fucking dropping. Yeah. We can cry together. I had an ex who I, cr- I... I never cried so much in my life except when she'd be like, we need to talk. And yeah. then we'd talk and she'd start crying and I'd start... It's horrible. And I'm like, what oh, the fuck dude. is this? And even, then I, even thinking about you crying is yeah, making uh, me kind of yeah. like... <laughs> You're one of those girls? Hell oh, yeah, dude. I haven't run into you one of you in a while. Like, you never... And the moment of that relationship ever got like annoyed of it a bit? Or yeah, no, I did. Like, oh, I said to her, I said, I'm so sick of us every few weeks sitting down and crying like this sucks yeah and that slowly devolved into us breaking up up for other reasons bigger reasons but that was definitely one where i was like well this is the third time we've cried together this month and it's really <laughs> annoying because it's over the same thing she's yeah, just leaving up. fucking puddles on the floor yeah like, <laughs> this is not how i want you to get wet you're a fucking <laughs> yeah, mess <laughs> i have had cr- i do never try to cry in front of women but if things are going bad it's it's kind of hard for me but I, I've learned. I've also learned that it's better to just. I don't know. I've learned to almost. If you can not cry in front of a woman, don't do it. Well, <laughs> just don't well, do it. It's, it's, I've, yeah, go ahead. I've learned that women just don't need to know anything about your life. <laughs> That's it. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> that way, you just don't. You could just hold it in. You You're know? Russian, so you can get away with that too. You can be like, it's cultural for me. I'm, yeah. I'm a, a Wonder Bread WAP American. Like they're they're like, oh, you fucking, you watch Invader Zim still as an adult? Why? It's like, uh, shut up. <laughs> I just like it. It's nothing to do with anything. Oh uh, yeah. Like Ryan Long has his great bit where he goes. Uh, Girls say they want emotional dudes, like dudes say they want a girl who fucks a lot, and then they're just sitting there like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it gets a lot. It gets to a lot, and then you're like, I can't ignore evolution. Shit. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. Right. I'm not a relationship guru. I think you should just find someone you like to do stuff with. I agree. And yeah, yeah you can tolerate. that. that Not just that thing. Obviously, you should be attracted to each other, but... You should be able to do not everything together, but enjoy each other's time because I don't know. That's I, I learned that way too late. Not way too, but like <laughs> you're, you're yeah, single. I'm, I know, you're fine. I know. But I'm saying like I've <laughs> I tr- I w- not way too late. I tried to go after people who you we didn't her, even. Bro. I what see. I see you miss her <laughs> <laughs> More, a little bit, but um, <laughs> but uh, the um, like I would date people who I was like I just want to hook up with them, and then when we'd like hang out i realized we didn't even like the same stuff mm-hmm. so it's like this is it wasn't even fun when we would hook up because we don't like each other really yeah you know what i mean yeah i get that yeah that's me though that's me it is like when people say like oh opposites attract like that's fucking bullshit oh yeah that's not true I've, I've actually talked about this recently too it's like if you on the pod like it if you're fu- that there is a net a n- very common thing that people say where they're like well if you and your uh significant other fight a lot that means you care it's like no it means you dislike each other and you're probably fighting because there's an inner struggle you're both working against with each other that's like oh we shouldn't actually be together but we keep fighting you're just calling her a retard to get help yeah exactly <laughs> dude what are you and your girlfriend fighting about <laughs> the great, great that you asked. Uh, <laughs> Are you and your girlfriend fighting? No. I wouldn't oh, okay, say we don't fight. have to. We don't have to drag, <laughs> no. drag it. Through. Yeah, I just brought that up. We're so. pretty yeah. mellow individuals. Like, I mean, like, bro. I mean, to be fair, like, I siphon a lot. 
so I'm smoking. Yeah, I'm Me just too. smoking all Me the too. time. Me too. And she doesn't smoke at all. So it just feels like we have the same mellow, but then we'll also be paranoid at the same time. <laughs> like whenever I'm high, I feel like I can get just as anxious as my girlfriend could get. Interesting. Yeah, I, the last girl I dated didn't smoke, but she did not care that I smoked. Yeah. Same. Like she didn't love it, but she also didn't harp on it at all, really. And um, that was cool. But I do like dating a girl who does smoke because then I don't feel like I'm in another realm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I've dated, because you date some guys, girls who smoke, and they just don't understand just kind of what you're feeling, if that makes sense, just because mm-hmm. you're ripped, and they're like, you know, perky and ready to go, and you're like, I'm fucking mellow. Like, like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, way out, man. T- I'm too laid back. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not good, like, smoking. I don't know. Like, in a relationship, it's bad for me because sometimes I'll, like, look at the person, like, do I even like them? Like, I think I think too hard <laughs> because, like, I remember it was, I was seeing this guy and I got really, really high in the middle of us fucking. I just thought, is he gay? <laughs> <laughs> for that guy. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why would you wait. think that? Was he just like, I just <laughs> literally one of my paranoid high thoughts. I like, I thought that I had figured was it he, out. Like, not that hard. And like looking at a poster on your wall of a man or something. <laughs> no, it was, it was, or he would have been harder that if he was doing that, because <laughs> if he was gay, I, I think it was cause he was wearing like a purple shirt. Oh, like a gay. button down that's purple shirt. That's I don't know. But again, <laughs> no, listen, it's I'm like, not. It's, it's, not. it's that's not. That's Barty going to court. You know, that's not gay. <laughs> yeah. But I just, you know, like I wow, saw. Wow, Luigi's that. not gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And I was just like, he looks gay in that shirt. Mm. <laughs> I was like, I need a second. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I get, dude. I think like weird shit. It's just, I don't know. Hmm. I do too. I've I've thought during sex about like chores I have to do later, like things I have to do, and I'm like, this isn't sexy. And then I just go, I just I power through it. But that it's not even like a it's not even because things are going bad. It's just it, those are like intrusive thoughts during sex because it's the opposite of like if you're walking down the street and you have an intrusive thought about sex, that's one thing. But to ha- there's not too many intrusive thoughts you can have during sex that aren't already happening if that makes yeah. sense because it's sex of thoughts during sex is like oh i probably look mad stupid right now yeah <laughs> yeah same. i'm so glad this isn't being filmed <laughs> or what if yeah. you know what i I'm was so happy i don't have a mirror in my room yeah, yeah. this <laughs> i know what i always think about it's crazy too especially if it <clears throat> like i'm oh i've seen a lot of horror movies specifically this one always gets me has you ever seen Dreamcatcher? no well in that movie he's upset the, yeah <laughs> in that movie the aliens when they get inside you they come out of your ass and they, you kind of shit them out. It's it, not as scary as what I'm <laughs> explaining. But that visual <laughs> of something just like a, 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 a thing. What, imagine like you're having sex and then just something comes in and goes inside you while you're having sex. I think about that all the time. Anyway. I'm just afraid of having sex because of this Well, movie. I'm afraid of so, like... When, when, Were you molested no. during this movie? What no, it's just fuck? anytime someone's having sex in a horror movie, they get fucked up by something. Have you ever thought that maybe that alien has a better chance of visiting a prison instead of your? No. <laughs> Think about it, like a prison shower. Yeah. He'd probably be <laughs> sure. more excited for But it. maybe it's because he has to catch it in a consensual natural act not in a <laughs> you saying the guy doesn't know that the alien's going up his ass <laughs> not in those movies I'm saying that's it, that's not really a horror movie if the aliens ask for consent before I know the but ass. no it's not either way it's not it's the situation it's looking for it's looking for love okay what's well, a situation that Guys, has I, love in I it I watched this really progressive horror movie <laughs> and <laughs> the the rapist asked do you mind? I have the exact same questions as the fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, because you've ever had sex in front of like a cat or anything? Yeah, bro. Not like you put the cat there. <laughs> I'm just saying. The cat was, you looked around, you're like, oh, there's, like, if you have it's not, but if someone's having sex right here, they looked and there's a cat sitting there. That wouldn't be too weird. Funniest <laughs> thing, I remember one time I hooked up with this chick. And we get to her apartment, and she has this loud ass chihuahua. <laughs> She's just holding down this chihuahua while we're having sex. holding it down. Yeah, that's what? wild. <laughs> that's basically 
That's, that's you assault. Yeah. You had a three way with a chihuahua. Essentially, because you you didn't eat, you traumatized it bare minimum. Whoa. Bare minimum. Bro, that chihuahua whoa, 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 would make whoa. it into the title of the. <laughs> That that chihuahua could go on the stand and be like, and they held me down while they had sex. Yeah. Wow, dude. <laughs> it was Whoa. not Taquito Taco Bell. You, this is her decision. This you was at not least mine. had foreplay with a dog. <laughs> Not even, you just <laughs> you subjected a dog to. I what, did not subject. It, like, it. It, uh, she subjected. What I was it. saying is, if a cat walks in and just sits there, that's one thing. You guys didn't even get it out of the room. She held it in her hands while you guys had sex. Oh, were, she. Could, that's insane. It would be even more fucked up. It's a studio. <laughs> it doesn't. Yo, this is wild. Not this might be the funny. funniest story told on this podcast. <laughs> Holy shit! And I know it's not your fault. It's that girl. That girl's wild. Oh, that yeah. girl could have done so many other... There's so many things to be done. There's a lot. A blanket over it, a cage, you get the cage. A friend comes and gets the dog. I don't know, man. I mean, it would be like just as fucked up if like you called <laughs> your dog in and just went stay. Yeah. And then like yes, made it and stay. made it stay. <laughs> did, it, did it like make noises while in concurrence it with was, you guys <laughs> fucking? Were you guys like, uh, uh, it was like, ah, ah. No, it wasn't rhythmic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> however they they don't, yeah because they have like little bursts they're like rah. yeah yeah. I've had numerous dogs try to jump on beds while having sex, and that's always interesting. I know it's always that. fun to see how much the girl cares about her pet because they they really f- don't in those situations. Yeah, they'll be like, get off. <laughs> it's like, geez, you loved that. You love that thing. <laughs> <laughs> some of them hold it during. Yeah, apparently, some are like, you know what? Just gonna keep jumping on. Hold on, yeah, it's okay. hit it, hit it from the back. Go, doggy style while holding a dog. Okay. Literally, One literal second. doggy style. One second, I gotta brush him. Dude, that is. Oh my god, dude, that is the wild. That is wild, David. Never mind. You're always welcome on the podcast. You bring, <laughs> you bring one story like that per pod. You're always well. That was great. Oh my god, dude. That visual is so funny. It's just because it's just a it's a girl being oh god just holding a dog. How could she focus? The dog like dogs smell too. Like they smell like dogs. So it's like she couldn't. Have, there's so much. Uh, where was it? Here, here. It's like. Bro, Wait, I, was she like <laughs> leaning on it? No, I mean, she was kind of like, it was like we were laying, right? It was like the laying dog style, you know I got what you, I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah. It kind of looks She's like a, if you had a mirror on top and you look like you're playing a Mario game in doggy style. Okay. You know? So she was just, <laughs> sure. she was just laying on All the right. bed. I've never heard it explained like that ever. It's fine. <laughs> No, it's fine. Dude, it's, it's great. literally it's Russian Theo Von. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, I just figured you out. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was great. This is terrible. <laughs> <sighs> uh, no, but yeah, she was laying down and she just had the dog like this. That's wild, dude. Was it facing the other way? <laughs> Not I moving think all so. over. You think so? I think we were all <laughs> facing the same direction. <laughs> the dog's like, what's going on? My owner, something's like wrong. like a 60s album, you know? Just right <laughs> on top of each other, like a Queen album. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just Eddie Wright. Yeah, Eddie famous Wright. That's so funny, dude. Oh, my God. The dog starts licking its dick. <laughs> That's gross. Oh, you should have gotten another dog for that dog to fuck <laughs> while you guys are fucking and hold. Oh my god, man, that is, that's so funny. That's, that'll, I'll never not think of that when looking at you, dude. I'm not gonna lie, the rest of my life, until the day one of us goes, man, that'll be the last. Every time I think of you, I'll be like, oh, David. Let me tell you about David. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. Anyway, what you? No pets for you? No. Nothing? No. Nothing weird? I yeah. had, like, <laughs> I just remember a cat one time when I was done looking at it, like, we, me and this chick had sex, and just looking at it and being like... Nice. Not even nice, just being <laughs> like, not nice, just looking at it and being like, w- I wonder what it thinks was going on, because it was just, I don't know. I mean, they fuck. I know, but... W- what do you think when you see cats fuck? You just go, oh, cool, nice. Yeah, but I, I think but some them. cats don't go through that because they just get neutered and they stay at the crib their entire life. True. Well, if they're neutered, then that's that's just mean. 
Yeah. They they must just accept it because they're animals and they're like. Oh, you yeah, think the cat funny. like also gets horny? Like, that's <laughs> also what I th- I think that oh, like yeah, does cats it get horny? Does it, it was it watching? Does it liked it? <laughs> Curious. Oh no, they don't get like, horny. Oh, they get horny. <laughs> they don't get horny watching. I'm just saying cats get horny. Oh, they definitely do. Yeah. I had my cat when she was in heat came and pissed on me while I was sleeping twice. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. She came and sat on me on my like. Chest area, so you're trying to get more cats pissed in all over me, and I was like, "Why?" See, that's the thing with animals. I just I can't picture only one because they had go through so much weird shit. I don't want to deal with that from like. And they kill things, and and they just go you. about your day. Like they bring mice. Cats will just bring mice to you and be like, and then they'll sit with you. Like all there's like chunks of dead mice hanging off them. You don't even think about that. And they rape too. So think about that. Every time your cat, if it comes inside and you're petting it, you're probably petting like a, a, a crime scene. Yeah. <laughs> or a rape kit. You're, you're contaminating. <laughs> you're petting Bundy. Yeah. For, re- for real. They're That's disgusting. That's a good name for a cat. Bundy. Bundy. They have to be fat too, though. Because bun- Bundy for a cat would be Yeah, fat. bun, you know. Yeah. Or bun B. Maybe. I like fat cats. Me too. Now, now when you see them on Instagram, all the comments are like, you're killing this poor thing. Dude. It's like, it's yeah. a fat cat. That's awesome. Any animal Instagram of an animal doing anything, anything, an animal, you could be in a cage, in a house, in the wildlife, with, a, ca- with a, a sanctuary, someone will comment and be like, uh, did you know that actually it shouldn't be doing this? Uh, you're bad at your job whoever filmed this do better for the animal i saw someone uh it, it was like a paper towel in a uh, a parakeet's cage and it just gave birth and they put the babies on a paper towel and all the comments were people going uh why isn't it a natural nest setting these babies should be cared for better this paper towel is bullshit and then there are the other half of people going actually a paper towel is perfectly fine uh, not everyone can get natural nest settings in certain areas, yada, yada, like blah, blah. And, and just, you're just sitting there like scrolling through that. Yeah. Actually I, invested. Yeah. I, well, I, I did become invested at one point. So I was like, I couldn't feed. I was on the paper towel people side and I was just trying to see if any of the other people who had the natural setting were cool. And I kept going to their profiles being like nerd, dork. <laughs> you're, like yeah. You're like you get mad at them. You see the natural setting. You're like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just being mad judgmental too. And coming out of, I don't know. It's just, uh, can, can just, I be honest? It, it was just a cute baby. That's the thing. No one was commenting on. It was supposed to be a cute video and everyone's like, um, at, Oh, there's another one of a turtle getting barnacles removed and people were like uh barnacles are sea creatures too and it's like they're literally choking mi- they're choking the fucking yeah. turtle and they're mindless uh, what what do they do do they do anything what anyway so here's just, here's why i think we live in a simulation yeah who comments i yeah. i wonder that as well i wonder who the comments i also wonder who protests certain things they don't like whoever's calling or messaging oh, yeah. i don't know who they, those people are ever it is so hard to get people out to just a fucking comedy show but yeah you're telling me you round up a protest yeah like you make a crowd to go walking and doing shit yeah like you outside work, but you can't do it on a, you can't catch a late night show they don't work yeah it's confusing <laughs> not even that i just mean people who sit call places and be like uh as a victim of like someone who if, if louis was performing somewhere allegedly there's people who call in and go um louis ck is a predator it's like how do you have time to do that everywhere that guy goes they they did that kind of to uh, a place where i worked um i worked at a sandwich shop jersey mike's and uh i'll say the name i don't think this is illegal <laughs> <laughs> uh it's your fault you're letting me say it so <laughs> <laughs> sure so uh, I worked at Jersey Mike's, and there was like at the other location on the island, they uh, it was like right around that Black Lives Matter thing, and you know everyone on the island's like a cop. Yeah, whatever. yeah, it's dead. So this dude who was like a decorated police captain or something went in just to get a sandwich, and uh, something happened, maybe about masks or whatever, but basically something happened, and like they uh, turned their back to him. 
and were like refuse they, they just stood turned their back to him and like just refused to talk to him because he was a cop i guess he was like wearing his uniform or something and people were calling our store and being like fuck you you're disrespecting the police that's yeah, wild and it turns out that, that whole thing was a hoax <laughs> it turns out it was all fake like they just literally didn't hear him like you see him come in for a minute he doesn't say a word and he leaves that's insane his I, wife started that shit though yeah. so i think it was her <laughs> i had a um that's hilarious i had a uh, a friend on this podcast she made a video about a guy at a gym standing next to her and it wasn't it really wasn't anything it was kind of a dumb video but it, it was nothing it meant it really wasn't a big deal video like she, it was just her trying to ca- kind of capitalize on the creepy guys and gym moment and right. it just didn't it didn't work because it and she didn't cl- know this guy or anything no no it was clearly also she was kind of trying to make it more than it was and it wasn't that's the thing she but, like shoves uh, her leggings up her ass. She's like, "Come on, I no, need these. I need no, these no, fucking was, views, yeah. dude. Rate me, please. <laughs> <laughs> please for these views." No, she was just like, "Oh, it's creepy when guys come in the gym," and the guy wasn't even looking at her. So, yeah. this gym account, I think it's J- Joey Swole or whatever, yeah, he yeah. shared her video and reacted to it and being like, "This girl is kind of a predator at gyms, and we shouldn't allow people at her like this at her gy- our gyms." I have a video on my, I have a clip from my podcast of me and three other comedians making fun of her as a joke. We're friends, me and the girl too, but we made fun of her on the podcast about the way her lifestyle sort of, but she knew about it. We're friends. Yeah. We made the clip. We just made her. fun of everything yeah. she does. Yeah. We made the clip with like. her permission <laughs> and she's cool okay. with it. Random people from his reaction video found my podcast clip and were <laughs> messaging me and messaging under the thing being like, the girl you're talking about hates men and is a piece of shit. You guys should never talk to her again. And then we're even coming at us and being like, why would you associate with this girl? And we're like, I just had to, I had to come back at them and be like, yo, you literally saw a video somewhere, found a video of a girl just being mentioned, and you're now coming at completely... Pe- people aren't even related to that video you're coming at us from like you're do you see how crazy you seem People nice dude. In their life, you, know? you got engagement yeah. though i did <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i also <laughs> told them a lot of them who came at some people came in real hot being really mean and i would just tell them like hey man thanks for you know coming on the page i hope you watch the the full episode <laughs> and shit and then they would try to come back and be mean and i'd be like well you're still here yeah. so uh thanks and then they would leave eventually because they realized that I'm 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 a Jedi when it comes to that shit. Mm. Especially when I'm not, it's it has nothing to do with me. I'm like, you can, you can try to come at me, but I don't really, I don't really care. Mm. Whatever, fuck them. I like that they made that thing now where like comments boost your video because now yeah. it's just like it makes all the hate comments awesome. Yeah, yeah. You kind of just also too if someone keeps leaving hateful comments, it doesn't. It just kind of mean they 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 like usually. They do like you. They just don't know it yet, honestly. Like, mm-hmm. if they keep doing it, because then it's like, well, if you hated me, you just eventually not associate. You wouldn't keep coming back to look at what I do and yeah. stuff. So that's how I try to break them that way. I'll just be like, thanks for coming back. Hope, hope you eventually check out a pod. And then sometimes they follow. Sometimes they don't. Well, it is what it is. I keep it moving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had some back in big paragraphs. I go, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've done that a few times. And then I'll block some people after I do it because I, I, I just want them. I don't want a back and forth. I just go, hey, you're an idiot. Have a good day. Mm. I don't want to keep engaging. I had one person who I was like, I sent them a thing of like, yo, you're an idiot. Emily isn't the girl who I was talking about. She's not even in the video. Like, do you look how crazy you look right now commenting on this? go fuck yourself and they wrote back like bro i'm just like i can't she blocked me on other things so i have to go here and i was like you're double retarded now (laughs) like you you didn't even are you and then i realized it's not worth uh keep engaging with them because it's like the dude literally was like oh bro it's cool i'm just trying to get at her any way i can and it's like well first of all i'm her friend second of all you're now just annoying me and you're being like but bro I can't find her, so I got to annoy you. Don't you get that? It's like, 
Uh, sure, dude. Whatever, man. Gen Z. It was a young kid, I could tell. Yeah. He didn't He didn't understand at all. How old are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm 24. Oh, okay. I'm 22. Oh, you guys are young, dude. What? How old yeah. are you? I'm 31, dude. Oh, oh shit. Damn, yeah. you're like old as shit. <laughs> I know, right? No, I, thank you. I wish I was. <laughs> do you like being again. 31? I actually do. I, I, I feel like 30 is a calm age, and it seems like. I'm doing well for. I, I don't look th- like I'm in my 30s. I get told that all the time. I'm not. I'm just prefacing. But um, I also. I don't know. I always knew when I was younger. I was like, when I'm in my 30s, that's when I'll. That's like when I'll, that's oh, that's when I'll become a star. Yeah, or no, I'll just be like better then. Like I, I remember in my twenties being like, "This is fucking weird. Everything's still fucked up." I'm a fucking, I, I'm still <clears throat> fucking nut job. But I had, I was l- a lot less secure. I knew I'd be secure by the time I was thirty, and I, I am, and I feel, I feel good. But I, and I also feel good because physically, I, I think I'm all right. I, I'm, I haven't felt the huge weight of aging yet that everyone complains about. I mean, I've always just felt that because mm. I'm just I'm Jewish and I'm falling oh, apart. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys don't. Yeah, you don't age. Yeah. We don't age well. Age well. Yeah, I hurt nothing. my back. <laughs> my back hurts right now. You're for 24, weeks. bro. For yeah, my weeks. back's been hurting for like a couple of months now. <laughs> yeah, you're Russian. Well, my dad's Jewish. Oh, there it is. Ukrainian yeah. Jew, and then my mom is like Uzbek. We're also a slouchy generation. I think. Yeah. Yeah. We slouch hard. I slouch we, we can't all get gaming chairs. Yeah, I also I'm I'm Irish and Italian and Irish Italian and Polish, mm-hmm. so it doesn't really I don't know <laughs> a fucking mix of whites. You know what I mean? Doesn't really hardworking whites. Yes, true, I'll, I'll, true. Va- yeah, Italians don't really like vodka. Neither do I'm more Polish than anything. That's why I say vodka. So the Poles drink the vodka. My roommates are they coming in? No, sometimes they come in during the podcast. But no, yeah, being in your thirties so far so good. Ask me in a few years how, how much I liked it then. But yeah. I think you'll blossom even into your 40s. I think so too. I think as long as I can keep eating veggies every day, every day, and um, watching what I eat, and I think I'll be okay. I also don't drink often and no kids. That's the best one. Awesome. Yeah. I smoke so I don't have to have kids. Yeah, I smoke <laughs> weed. A lot of weed. So <laughs> I just, yeah, I don't think I'd. I don't. I don't I'm not. I don't, I don't want to be that responsible. Yeah, I'm also. Feeling. I'm pretty irresponsible right now, so I don't want to add a kid to that and be like, "Let's try to figure that out." I was uh, trying to check the plants. <laughs> oh, those are my plants. <laughs> those are your plants. They and look they, good. They are good. That that's that, a 31 year old man's <laughs> plants, dude. <laughs> that's a cactus, so that one doesn't really need to be watered, but mm-hmm. these two, they do, and that one's glorious. Yeah. She's gonna grow. That. He found justification for neglecting. <laughs> That's great. You know, I did. I got. I, you only have to water those every three days or so too. So I don't even have to like. You know, nice. I can fucking ballpark it I all the time. Look at them. No. <laughs> <laughs> see if they're. See how they're like. Oh, this is boring for the video people, but <laughs> see how they're they're like up. Yeah. That means they're they're good. But if they go down, I go. I spray them with some water. Yeah, I like the whole uh, ivy on the walls look. I'm trying to get Very it. Old I'm British type. I'm uh, trying to get it going up the whole fucking wall. We'll see what happens. Again, we we'll see it in six months. We'll see what happens. Yeah. And then you gotta you gotta take a video so people know what you're talking about. <laughs> that is true. Maybe one day. Maybe I don't want we'll I don't do want to give the tour. mystique of the, they they think probably think this is a studio. Maybe it is. And they, I, obviously, I've said it's in my apartment a lot, <laughs> but they don't know where it is. But and they, they don't, don't know if it's a studio apartment. They don't or how know. Many they don't know if this is in a room. I mean, they could. Per- if anyone's been listening since I moved to New York, they can get a pretty good idea of where I am and what I do. And if anyone visits me, they know exactly <laughs> where I do the fucking podcast. Yeah. But they don't really know. Do this you? is like those uh, those assemblies that you had in school where they go. Tommy was talking to an older man online, and he said, "I have a baseball game this Friday." And the guy showed up at his school. How did he know? Because of the jersey he wore. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just piecing it together for a pedophile to come to the one of the most public events. <laughs> man, 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 no pedophiles welcome here, dude. That would not be cool. No, but they would they would always be like a baseball game. And like now I'm thinking back to it and it's like this pedophile would just come. It's like he knew that like the kid's parents weren't going to be at this yeah. game. Like, <laughs> well, 
Will your parents be there, Billy? Dude, Stranger Danger was so crazy on the internet. Like, when I was a kid, like, people... It was like, we were warned so much about it, but all of my friends were, like, in long-distance relationships yeah. with someone they've never met. Yep. Everyone's done that once Instagram or twice. Instagram does that for you. What? Instagram does Instagram? that for you. Yeah. No, I saw them on, like, Twitter a lot. I never... I, I don't think... Twitter. I think I dated a girl in like sixth grade that I never really met. She went to a different school and we talked on the phone and then she broke up with me. And that was it. There was, there was like one guy who asked me to be his girlfriend when I was like in high school and I had never met him and it was like on Twitter. But then apparently then we got into like a fight or something. I forgot. And he just broke it off with me like a couple of days later. And then I talked to this girl and she was like, Oh, we dated like through twitter or whatever awesome. and i was like That's this is hilarious. so fucking weird dude i uh this girl in eighth what is it, eighth grade yeah eighth grade uh we were at a party and she she just was like uh, we were talking like the whole night and she I, i'm trying to remember it exactly but she basically was like i like you and then one of her friends came up to me and was like would you date christina and i was like Sure. I don't, sure. Whatever. I don't know. I'm new. I don't. I'll date someone. And then when I got to school on Monday, like everyone I knew was like, "Why are you dating that girl?" And I was like, "I don't know. I just at a party. She just asked if I could like be her boyfriend." And they're like, "Why would you date her?" And they like I, honestly, everyone just kind of convinced me to not date this. I, what, I, what was up with this girl? <laughs> she was. She was a little bit nutty, but oh. Um. And it, and, and I also wasn't attracted to her. I just kind of got not bullied. I just. Like, f- not, it felt bad is the wrong word, too. I just kind of went with the flow. Yeah. And then when I got to school and everyone was kind of badgering me, I was like, oh, I don't want to, I don't even, I didn't even want to date this girl. Now I'm dating this girl, but now I don't want to. And then I broke up with her at lunch. Yeah. I had another girl do it for me. <laughs> yeah. I miss when you could just make other girls right? do shit. Right? Yeah. That was the best, dude. You could be like, can you go tell her I don't want to date her, be her boyfriend anymore? <laughs> we just dated on s- Saturday and it's Monday afternoon. Yeah. Go tell her. And they're like, okay. And then that girl would cry, and then you're like, "Well, I didn't even want to," do, you know. And then you just go about your life. Yeah, I didn't even think about it until just a minute ago. Now that we <laughs> brought it up, that's hilarious. Did you ever like uh, ask anyone through like a note in class, no. or like ask if you like me? I've had arguments with people through, through notes. notes. Why oh, don't you yeah. like me? Because no. you're gay. Check. Box. <laughs> <laughs> I've had I have had fights with my friends in the class like through notes over like something someone said and we'd just be like writing on this crumpled up little piece of paper and then when you really got mad at someone you'd crumple it up really really tight so they could barely read it and they're like you see them like, <laughs> stupid <laughs> you see them trying to unwrap this piece of paper like <laughs> that's funny just rip it up and maybe try to puzzle it back together that's hilarious name. dude <laughs> I would never have thought of that. No, I never. I never had someone write me a note or anything. What we were? I don't know. I was a huge notes person in class, and so I love notes. No, I was good at cheating in school, though. I cheated a lot. I cheated on so many things. It it got like I, I it blends, if that makes sense. Like I can't remember what I cheated on and what I didn't. Just a blur, a blur of cheating. Now we had a. Like You're just cheating on women over notes. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But there was like uh there was a time in high school, like towards the end, where I cheated every single test. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm done. I cheated in band class because our band teacher let us <laughs> record our uh tests and I would just ask another better band person to record my test with just like one or two mistakes and then you just like put the phone in the tuba uh, like. yeah yeah it, literally well we had a we had like a room like a booth like this we're in right now but no it was in a booth and he would have us record and just save it to a computer and i would just ask my friend but can you go in there and just do the test for me but like sprinkle in a mistake or two so he knows it's me and then my band teacher would constantly come up to me and be like, Alex, good job on that test. You're really improving. And I'd be like, I'm always practicing yeah, all like the time I, at I home. S- I see you in class and you're dog shit. Dude, I don't know how he didn't pick it up. First of all, I played tuba. So it's fucking, <laughs> imagine that. That's fucking embarrassing. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Bro. It sucks. And then you Wait, smoke you actually too, played so tuba? Yeah, it sucks, dude. So, well, this is, this is how my brain worked. So in high school, my dad, I, I quit band, I think in eighth grade when I left school uh i switched schools i was like i don't want to do band anymore i hated doing band i don't like i just don't like playing music 
in a ba- in a fucking. I don't like playing <laughs> those boring instruments. I don't like the songs they make us play. I don't like it. Yeah. If I could sing, I would sing. Yeah, same. But I, if I yeah. could play guitar, I would play guitar. Right. But they put me on flute, bro. Yeah. I'm not fucking playing flute, yeah. bro. <laughs> so I was originally a trumpet, right? Yeah. And trumpet was fine, but I didn't like. I didn't like it. I hated it. I was like, I don't want to play this. So my da- I got my dad was like, well, you have to do band now. You're like, you have to do it. I don't know what the fuck. Whatever. Bad, bad parenting. Fucking idiot. Anyway, um, <laughs> they uh, they were like, you have to pick a band. So I was like, I'll do drums. I'd rather do drums. And then my band teacher in high school was like. Look, it's just too much to teach you to do drums at this stage in the game. So you just have to do like a horn instrument. And out of rebellion, I was like, I'll fucking, what, what do you have? And he's like, you can do this, this, or like tuba. And I was like, I'll do fucking tuba. Because I wanted to like show my dad, like, I don't want to do this. So I'm picking the hardest thing. She was just thrown all over the tuba, right? It's that big fucker? She just told the <laughs> band teacher, I don't want to fucking do this. Like, I, I know my dad told you I want to do this, but I don't. So can you go tell him we had a conversation and I don't ever want to fucking play an instrument again in my life? Because then he would have been like, oh, yeah, because I wouldn't want to force you to do that. Anyway, but you, <laughs> adults terrify you when you're younger. I don't know if they, you know, they're not good at communicating, especially the ones from our generation, you know, raised us. I'm sure your foreign parents had to be. They yeah. can't be any better. <laughs> no, yeah, my mom forced me to. Uh, to sing for church for like Ugh. a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So well No, dude, my dad communicates like really openly and he always tells us like how much we <laughs> yeah. mean to him and yeah. he's just like, you know, he's he gets vulnerable with us, yeah. dude. And and someone he's who like, gets who likes yelling, this is what he, he's like, I would never he's like, I would never tell you what to do with your life, like to be a doctor or a lawyer, and he's just so mellow about it. It's crazy. And that's why you like yeah. yelling at people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Dude, I don't think my dad's done that once in his life. <laughs> Life, bro. I don't <laughs> You're crying and your dad's like, it's tough. My Smoke a cigarette, get over it. Yeah. I don't know if he sounds like that. but He does. I think he, he does. does, yeah. No, but I we, can't hear their accent. <laughs> I don't. We, I, I hear a Latino uh, accent. <laughs> Baby girl. No, <laughs> I, but yeah, we did fucking, I did fucking tuba, dude. And it's like, it's a big, lunky, fucking shitty instrument. You can't, ca- you can't carry it anywhere. It's yeah. huge. And I did it for three years, and it sucked, and I wasn't good at it. I didn't learn it. I talked during every band class. Band teacher constantly had to tell me to shut up. Fit, uh, like, be like, he'd be like, shut up. I, like, I don't want to be here. They put me on flute. Do I look like I play flute? Girls play flute or clarinet. That's all I've learned. They put me on flute, and I lost the flute. Oh, I, damn. I just lost the flute. And then I had to pretend, like, oh, I always forgot my flute and stuff. Yeah. I had to kind of like pretend to have a flute <laughs> for the rest of the year. Yeah, we I didn't don't know how that ever got resolved because there's no way I brought it back. Yeah, we also don't. We couldn't forget our instruments because they were yeah. tubas, so they just le- we'd leave yeah, them at the yeah. fucking school. And oh my god, it- no, I had to carry around like this little flute briefcase. Excuse me. Hated that so much. Now I'm really. I just had a flashback to going to band class and being like, "Why? Why did my parents? Why am I forced to do this?" I in Damn, the song band sucked. really fucked you up. First of all, you only did something you didn't like until you were in the eighth grade. I know that is not no. Fair. Then in sophomore, they in high school they made me do it. A, a, that's when I had to become a tuba player. So they made you do it again. No, I was a trumpet player from like fifth grade, fourth grade to fifth grade. All the way to eighth grade or seventh grade. Okay. Then had a break until sophomore year until my dad was like, well, you got to be a very man. Oh, okay. So you did get four. Oh, no. Everyone in the Tomaselli family played an <laughs> instrument. Shut the fuck up. And none of us are professionals there. and not, who gives a fuck? <laughs> right? Who gives a fuck? Yeah, I don't know. I've had the last few podcasts I've had, I've like ranted at my dad. He's a good guy too. We, we get along pretty well. I love him, but. Just dumb shit from when you're younger. I mean, I swam from when I was six to twenty-two. Fucking hate that sport. My dad. This is what my parents did. Another dumb thing my parents have done. They said he needs to be involved and has to like learn commitment and do sports stuff. He's gonna do gymnastics. <laughs> 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 That's literally what the fuck. Gymnastics is, wrong is a with great sport. Oh my god. Like, I know. I know it's not cool. But yeah. it's really helpful. I can do a cartwheel. <laughs> That's probably why you don't have the pain at 31. Maybe. Bro, yeah, honestly. Maybe. Dude, because I remember <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did gymnastics for like one year. Yeah. 
And I remember trying to do a handstand on vacation one time, and I fell on my back. And I got the the wind knocked <laughs> out of me, and I was just like, "I'm never doing this fucking sport again." Yeah, man, I can do a cartwheel. I don't know if I can do a full handstand for I that used long. I to, to do a cartwheel, but I can like I can jump and lob over things, just because I did that bar thing where you hold yourself up and then you swing your legs. Yeah, the like, the horse. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, but I can yeah that shit. I'm like built for that now. My dad points that out sometimes when he'll see me like hop a fence when we're doing crime mm-hmm. together. <laughs> but, but he'll be like, "Oh yeah, the reason you, I'll be like, he's like, you you can still do that from when you were a kid." And I'm like, "Yeah, my my dad yeah. does that in weird ways." Well, he he'll be like, "Your legs are so straight because <laughs> you swam." <laughs> <I don't laughs> because you swam, dude. They're, they're so straight. You beautiful straight legs. I'm like, thanks, thank yeah. you. No, that that's not the right accent for my dad, but <laughs> I don't care. It's like Dude, a weird gymnastics. It's it, like it's it's uh, it's society's eyes. It's gay. So I always felt gay when I had to go. I didn't even have to do. They didn't make us do spandex or anything. Thank God. But yeah. did you go to a Russian gymnastics place? So Gym- Russian gymnastics places are it has to be insane. It's not even. Well, the thing was is that a lot of the kids were Russian, mm. but it was trained by this dude. Who was also a karate teacher, right? And he, and it was so funny. Cause, Sensei Vlad. Cause he was like, no, his name was Frank. He was like a it was like an American guy named Frank, right? But he was apparently like also he was like a karate like a karate a karate teacher, right? But also he was like, oh yeah, I went to the same temple as Bruce Lee's best friend. <laughs> then, cool man, yeah. And then it's like, oh, I guess this fucker is gonna be teaching us gymnastics as well. Of course, it's temple. <laughs> what a yeah, dude. Bruce Lee too. His friend could have not done karate. He could have just been his friend, gone yeah. to a different temple. Could have been his Jewish friend. <laughs> could have been his worst friend. Yeah, yeah. could have been. Yeah, could have been the guy that just annoyed Bruce Lee. Yeah. Like every time he sees him, he's like, "Oh, this fucking yeah. guy fucking tells everybody at his temple about me." <laughs> I shit. told him to be like water one time. Thanks He's like, oh, I'm best friends with this karate teacher, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. I went to a Russian gymnastics place, and uh, and that was crazy. They made us plank for like five minutes, and if anyone if anyone fell, you, you restart the whole five. Oh, I was about to say, you go five. home. They just feel like you failed. No, you restart the whole five, and I that was fun. For and, the motherland. And, <laughs> and then I, uh, I remember I went on vacation, and I came back, and... Uh, I was like maybe like 10, 11, and I came back and the gymnastics teacher looks at me and just goes, okay, you got fat again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I yeah, need that dude. in my life. You do, <laughs> I need dude. that shit, dude. You need a foreign <laughs> person to tell you you're fat. It's nice. I, I do have like my dad once in a while, like he did uh, this weekend recently. He was like, oh, look, a picture of you at like nine years old. And I was like, oh, cool. And he's like, see, you can be skinny. I was like, oh, oh damn, thank dude, you. Dude. Gotcha. <laughs> I get the same ones, but with my baby pictures. I'd be like, see, you could be fat. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the opposite problem. Yeah. <laughs> my dad will say you used to smile in pictures. That's what he says to me. And I'll be like, <laughs> I smile. Matt, there was a huge era, era of my living with my dad because – he would always try to f- force family time with me and my step family. And I would make it a point to, in any picture we took to just have like a grimace on my face. And it's so, it's funny to look back <laughs> on now because in their house, there'll be all these pictures of like us and their family. But I'll always look, oh, look, I'll be like, look at me, look at me. And then it's me just like, <laughs> just mad in the background. And, and with like the black hoodie. <laughs> yeah, it's every time. It's it's like there's a five year span. But of were you me. actually not enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah, you? I, oh, I really okay. was. But even it, if I was, I would force a grimace. It was so <laughs> yeah. much. Yeah. It was just funny, too. It became a bit after a while. Because they'd be like, smile. And I'd be like, all right. And I just wouldn't. <laughs> and they couldn't force me. So it just, yeah. It is what. It, and now we have the photo proof. And now, and you wonder why your dad made you do fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> you do gymnastics, you won't smile. No, what were you gonna say? I thought you were gonna say something. Uh, I stepped on. I'm sorry, I forgot. Honestly, mm. that's great. That's great. It's like a fit. I don't oh want, yeah, oh. my mom used to say I used to have a, a brightness in my eyes. You know? <laughs> I never had any of that. Yeah, yeah. There used to be a light in your eyes. You used to be so happy. What happened? And then like Jeez, weed. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> weed dulls your sparkle. Weed. Yeah, that and going from like private school to public school. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Or just li- like people act like p- you're supposed to be a kid forever, dude. It's like shit happens. 
bad yeah. shit happens to everyone. You eventually you're like, mm. then you become an adult. And it's the weird ones are the ones that are always happy because that means that they're, they're behind closed doors. There's something going wrong. Yeah, mm. they're enjoying the evil, if anything. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right. Yes, yes. It's a good revelation to have. Um. Anyway, guys, we're we're kind of at the end. Unless you guys want to keep going for a little bit, but oh sure, whatever. We've whatever been you want. we've been at an hour and some change. So sick, dude. If you guys want, we can cut it off at the at the hey, stump. You got anything to say? Do I have anything to say? If not, we'll do plugs and we'll get the get out of here. Because I don't know what you guys have planned for tonight, but yeah. I mean, I have time. Do no. you have anything that you want? Not really. I have. No <laughs> I've been. <laughs> he no. looks at his notes. <laughs> I just hear guys' names. names. Yeah. yeah. Anything else I had I, I, is from old podcasts. Yes, it's just other it's people's other names. People. <laughs> yeah. Milk Chimp Empire. Do you guys watch Chimp Empire? I only I only watched one episode Which of my one? Netflix. That Netflix sh- password thing fucked me. Oh yeah. Yeah. What happened? They like they took people out of the fucking like. Yeah. If you're not like. Accounts? Yeah. If you're not in the household as the person sharing the password, you're cut off. Damn. And you have to like verify your household. So whoever verified their household. So wait, yeah. do you have to just know the address, or does that have your location? No, it's like a whole. You have to like log. It. It's a whole. It's basically having the password, but you have to just do a bunch of extra steps. It's almost like you have to get information from people. I feel like, or have them sign off on it from their account. Uh, Was it really killing Netflix that fucking much? No, it wasn't. <laughs> They're greedy. Dude. This is this is petty and greedy. Yeah. It is, dude. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't fuck with them. I, I, mean, I want to know what happened. Chip Empire. Just, if it is just typing in your friend's address, you get just don't be an asshole. Find out where your friend. I got yeah, but I got to. Re- I the person who was on this was from. They were a previous tenant of the apartment, so now one of us has to upload their Netflix here. Um, and I don't have it. I don't. Ha- I never. I haven't had one in years. I've been using other people's. Yeah. I it doesn't even work if you put the address in like it's your apartment. No. Oh, so it changed it. So she changed the. They who, changed who, it. Yeah. Who changes the billing address for subscriptions? That's crazy. I think it makes you. I think it yeah. made you. It makes you. It. I think it. From the person's official account, it. Uh, it goes from there. Like whoever has is mm-hmm. the official account holder, whatever household that account is in, it kind of like. Solidifies on that one and says, "All right, this is." Home base and anything outside of here is, you know, an enemy. Or <laughs> an enemy. it also had a thing of like, are you traveling? And I didn't know to click that or anything. So it could be that. But again, there's a verification process. So fuck them, dude. That's crazy. I don't yeah. fuck You're also them. kind of a bad scammer. Yeah, dude. I'm lazy. You're like, am I traveling? Well, it would be. It would no, be I just wrong didn't know lie. what was going on. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Just give me the. I want to watch. I just wanted to watch Extraction 2 when it came out. Now. Damn. I'm stuck. That's the Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, dude. That, that first, one the first one. What? It's so good. I mean, I kind of gave up on like the action movies. Oh, it's fucking the... awesome, dude. Did you see The Raid? You ever see The Raid? No, I haven't seen The Raid. I'm going to watch it. I've, I was planning to watch it, but I've just been like, man, I like just like those out surreal movies. You know, it's like yeah. out of world experiences, okay. you know? Sure. Like Enter the Void. Yeah, Enter the Void was fires. <laughs> I watched that. I like the everything everywhere. That was pretty good. Yeah. I seen it. I seen it. Um, ah. Sorry. I'm trying to think of what else. Scanner Darkly. No, I didn't see that one. No, nah, I, I couldn't get through it. It was really weird. It wasn't bad. I just, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. You ever see Nocturnal Animals? I keep getting recommended for Dude. that one, but that one looks a little too insane. Oh, for, well, if you got through Enter the Void, you'll be fine. But this, it's nowhere near as weird as that, but it is a surreal movie. Where, but it, it, it all, it's... N- Nothing you can't grasp. They don't leave anything where you're like, that doesn't make sense. It's all very concise. It's just half the movie is real world and the other half is a book, if that makes sense. Okay. Oh, yeah, because she writes a book. Right. So half of the movie is her reading the book, but they show you the scenes. The scenes. Yeah, they show you it. So it's, you know, great movie, dude. I I, I couldn't recommend it enough. It's it's one of those movies, too... (laughs) This sounds stupid, but it's when, like, when the person who deser- gets exactly what they deserve, yeah, and it, that that's it's one of those movies where it ends and you're like, yeah, you fucking bitch, <laughs> what you get? Like, like in Glorious all. Bastards, when like with hands yeah, yeah, almost yeah, but this was this is more on. It's more of a real world 
it makes it's not carving a swastika into someone's head, <laughs> but it's it's more on a. Let's put it this way: if I ever if I ever became famous, I would do the ending to Nocturnal Animal Animals to numerous women. <laughs> but it's that sounds crazy. But you have to watch the movie. If anyone saw the movie, you'd be like. Oh, that's is not. It, wait, wait. Is that where you you fuck them all night, but they're holding their dog <laughs> down? <laughs> <Holding a dog. laughs> Great full circle, dude. Yes. <laughs> oh, that'd be yeah. To put you on closers, you're gonna make a hell. Of these days. Closers. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> anyone who watches, anyone who hasn't seen Nocturnal Animals is gonna be freaked out now. They're gonna be like, "What is he talking about?" No. Go watch the movie. You'll get it. You'll get it. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, guys. Uh, do you have anything to plug? Uh, your own podcast, podcasts, oh, yeah. other projects, uh, dates, whatever. Clash and I do a podcast. It's not as nice as this one, uh, but it's called Brocrastination. <laughs> so follow us at, at Brocrastination underscore pod on Instagram. Yeah, that's Procrastination, but with a B instead. Yeah. Because we're yeah. dyslexic. <laughs> that's why. You guys, Instagrams? Do you have Instagrams? Um, yeah. Uh, hey, you go uh, first. I'm hipster underscore doofus with two zeros. <laughs> And I'm David Clash 47. That's Clash with a K. Hell yeah, guys. That's it. Uh, you already know me, guys. It's Silly Sally on Instagram. All S's, no spaces, I at the end. And follow Yes Offense Podcast on Instagram. And follow, uh, subscribe to YouTube. That'd be great. Uh, we also have video on Spotify. So check that out there if you have to. And write a review on iTunes and give us five stars. That would mean a lot. And if you want to come see me live, I will be, I don't know when, when this, oh yeah, by the time this comes out, please come to my show at Kinsman Brewery in Milldale, Connecticut, Wednesday, June 21st. That would be a really good time. Uh, June 22nd, I'm at Tight Pants at St. Mark's. June 23rd, I'm in Poughkeepsie, New York with Cool Mike and Shaquana Cochran. That'll be a lot of fun. The following week, I'm on the road with Zach Amico. So please come see me. That'd be fun. And uh, yeah, that's it. I think that's it. Nothing crazy to announce. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for coming on. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for having us. Seriously, probably the uh, genuinely the the funniest sex story we've had (laughs) on this podcast, no doubt. Sweet. Now you can make one of those fucking uh, end of the year moments kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, Oh, definitely, definitely. Because you've had this podcast for like less than a year now. No, no, only video for less than a year. I've had it for two years. Oh, okay. At least three, maybe now. Hmm. Honestly, it might be three. I mean, either way, you still could work around it like that. Yeah, it's raining. Oh, it is raining. (laughs) (laughs) Ugh. I'm staying in tonight. Anyway, see you, nerds.